Hey, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export uh, compressed PowerPoint files from Figma using a plugin called Pitch Deck. So the first thing um, to do if you haven't already done so is go to the plugins directory in Figma um, and you can do that by going to the top left corner, clicking on the little Figma icon, going down to community and then in the search bar if you type in the word Pitch Deck, so that's P I T C H. D E C K. And if you click on the plugins tab, you'll see a result pop up called Pitch Deck Presentation Studio. And on the right hand side, uh, you'll see a button that says uh, either install or installed. Um, I've already clicked in the install button, that's why mine says installed with a little checkbox. Um, but if yours just says install, if you click on that button, it'll change to look like mine. And once it says installed with a little check mark on it, uh, then you're ready to go. So once you've installed the Pitch Deck plugin, uh, you can jump back into your project. And in my case, I'm just using a very simple uh, presentation deck design based on uh, Deirdre Ram's 10 principles for good design. So the first thing we need to do is just right click anywhere on the page, go down to plugins, and then go down to Pitch Deck Presentation Studio and click on that. And once you click on that, you'll see uh, the Pitch Deck plugin loading up your slides. So what this is doing is it's just going through all of the slides on the left-hand side uh, that we can see, all of our top-level parent frames, and it's treating each of those parent frames as a slide. Um, so now that it's loaded, we can see, if we go down the list, uh, all of these slides here are matching up with the frames that we've got on the left side here. So you can see principle seven, principle six, uh, intro, those are all correlating to our layers on the left-hand side here. Um, so in this video, I'm not gonna be showing you how to animate the slides or add uh, speaker notes or do anything of that nature. Um, I have some other videos on this YouTube channel if you'd like to see an in-depth tutorial on how to do that. Um, but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you a new feature, which is compression and specifically uh, image compression for exporting these uh, slides as a PowerPoint file. That's gonna be slightly smaller or a lot smaller, hopefully, um, than what we'd usually see without any compression. Um, so to, to export this presentation that we've already got set up, um, I'm already happy with all the layers. I'm happy with uh, all of the ordering. I'm happy with the speaker notes that I've already got in place. So all I want to do is just export this presentation to a file that I can use in PowerPoint, Keynote, or Google Slides. And the way I can do that is just by going up to the top right-hand corner of the plugin here, and you can see a button called Export Presentation. I'm just going to click on that. And what that does is it just brings out a little export panel um, that will let us export this presentation from Figma to a variety of formats. So in the top of the presentation plugin uh, settings panel, you can see that we've got this little option called select presentation format. And if I click on that, you can see that there's a, there's a few formats that I can choose from. So the first one is the animated pre web presentation. Um, if you click on that, you'll see that it's the pitch deck presentation URL format. So this option will essentially upload this presentation to a web uh, application, the Pitch Deck web application, and you'll be able to present this presentation from your browser. Um, and then we've got some presentation apps options. So we've got PowerPoint, Keynote, and Google Slides. Um, there's also a, a final one at the bottom just for a static export to a PDF file, um, but today we're not going to be focusing on that one. Uh, we're just going to be having a look at these middle ones here. So to export this presentation to PowerPoint, we just click on the PowerPoint option in the dropdown and you can see that changes here. Of course, we can change that to Keynote or Google Slides, um, but in this case, I'm just gonna set it to PowerPoint. Okay, so there's a few options uh, once we've selected PowerPoint. You can see here that we've got an image quality uh, section. So that's the one we're gonna be focused on now. And there's a couple of settings here. The first one is an option to use Retina images. So checking this option will uh, export all of the images in your presentation at 2x. So they'll effectively be double 
the size, um, but they'll they'll remain the same uh, dimensions. So you'll get really sharp, really crisp uh, images uh, at the expense of the speed of the export. Um, this does take a little bit longer to export because there's a lot more, uh, there's twice as much image data that needs to be exported from Figma and uh, included into PowerPoint. Um, but you are going to get much sharper images, but at that slower speed. Um, and the other thing is the, the file size will be larger as well. So because we're uh, exporting that at double the size, the file size will be roughly double the size too. Um, so for now, I'm just going to turn that off. Um, but the one I'm interested in for today is the second option, which has just been added to the plugin. This is a brand new feature, which allows you to compress the images before you package up the PowerPoint file. So if I click on that option, uh, the compress images option, you can see here again, it's just indicating that this is going to be uh, slightly slower to export um, again because normally with you with you uh, exporting uncompressed images uh, that's just going straight from Figma into the PowerPoint file um, this will add a middle step where it'll export the image data from Figma um, but it'll put it through a compression uh, algorithm before it actually packages up your PowerPoint file so that's why it's going to be a little bit slower so now that we've enabled that um, that has enabled this slider as well. So you can basically grab this little toolbar, this little slider notch and drag that up and down. And you can see here it's changing the quality uh, number at the end of that, that little label there. And it's telling us that the highest setting is the best quality. Um, and then it goes down all the way down to low quality. And then there's sort of a middle ground here too. So what I'm just going to do is show you the difference between compression and and not compression uh, with this this export. So if I uh, turn off the compression, so I'm going to uncheck compress images. I'm going to click on export for PowerPoint, and this is going to export my slides, my uh, presentation to PowerPoint without any image compression. Uh, so you'll get a sense of what that file size is going to be initially and then we'll get a sense of uh, how much we'll save via image compression. So that's generated the PowerPoint file for me so I can go ahead and click save and that's just saved it to my desktop. Uh, I can close off the plugin and jump to my desktop and you can see here it's saved the file, the PowerPoint file and it's 3.8 megabytes and I can open that up just to make sure that it's that it's all working well. So that's just going to be opened up in uh, uh, Keynote now, just to preview it. And you can see here it's exported it as we'd expect. And we've got our images uh, which have been exported to. So that was saved at 3.8 megabytes. So now let's rerun the plugin. And this time I'm going to enable image compression. And we can see what kind of file size we get once we compress those images. So again, I'm going to click on export presentation. Uh, it's remembered my settings from before, so I've still got my PowerPoint option selected, so I'll leave that. And this time I'm going to enable the image compression setting. And I can drag that up and down, of course. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to set it to about 70, which is sort of a middle ground for quality. And I'm going to click export to PowerPoint. So once again, it's doing the same thing. Um, however, this time, as I mentioned before, we're going to see it compress those images instead of just saving them directly to PowerPoint. Um, so that's doing it right now. It's compressing uh, all the images. It's finished. So it, it doesn't take too much longer. It really does depend on how many images you have. Um, it also depends on if you've got a lot of transparent images, a lot of PNGs. Uh, to compress that that does take longer than jpegs as well these are mostly jpeg so that's why it's quite quick um, and there wasn't as many images as you might have in your presentation as well so now that we've we've uh, exported that you can see here that uh, immediately there's a file size difference so we've gone from 3.8 megabytes down to 2.4 megabytes and again i can just open that up uh, i'll just open up in keynote just to preview it and you can see here that uh, the images are all there as we'd expect 
and if you look really closely you can tell that there has been some compression applied um, but again very difficult to tell and if you were viewing this on a, on a projector or a huge screen for presenting this to people uh, you would not be able to tell the difference in quality um, so I'm just going to do one more export and just reduce the quality again and let's have a look at what kind of file size we can get if we bring that quality slider down even further so one last time I'm just going to click export and I'm just going to drag this down to about 40 uh, which is low but it's not as low as it could be um, so maybe I'll just go to 35 just to make it even lower and once again I'm just going to click export for PowerPoint uh, to export our Figma slides into PowerPoint and once again you'll see it uh, start to compress these images in a moment and it shouldn't take too much longer um, it may actually even be quicker than last time so there we go it's just finished saving it so I'm going to save that to my desktop once again and if I inspect that uh, this time we've made it down to 2.3 so the the returns is kind of a bit of diminishing returns uh, with the lower quality and that may be based on uh, the kinds of images that I'm using as well they're they're fairly simple um, so I can tell a little bit more that these have been compressed but uh, they're actually not too bad considering how low the compression quality was set to um, so yeah so that's a rough idea of uh, what the compression settings can do for your PowerPoint files um, again this is a very simple file um, and there's, there's really not heaps going on as far as images go um, the images aren't all that large they're not all that detailed um, if you are using photos uh, more similar to this one uh, then you're probably going to notice even more savings and um, this can be really handy if you need to send your PowerPoint files or your keynote files um, via Slack or via email or something with uh, sensitive file size limits adding compression can be a nice way of getting those file sizes down um, if you are dealing with uh, larger decks or if you're dealing with uh, using the retina image option and enabling that um, so yeah that was just a quick tutorial on how to add image compression to your PowerPoint files or Keynote files uh, or Google Slides files from your Figma slides and uh, yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to show you today. So just a quick one. And I hope that you get some benefit from it in your own workflow. And uh, yeah, give it a go and uh, see what it's like. Okay, thank you as always for watching. And we'll be back soon with more tutorials just like this.